Carlos Gonzalez will start for Panama. We saw him early in this tournament in third base, and every throw across the diamond looked like it was about 90 miles an hour. <laughs> we understood why when he got on the mound, because his fastball has been the highest that we've seen so far here. Up to 80 miles an hour, we'll see if he gets it there today, but the control has been very good, too. A power, power right arm. This ball in the first two over there for a strike. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Dialed up a little bit more on the 0-2 pitch. So we'll do it again, 3-2. Okay, that's a big league pitch, Kyle. So the fastball's been 80, 81 miles an hour. Watch the grip. So it's the two fingers in that are they're on as a knuckle, and then when he throws it, he's really going to push those fingers off. Traditional knuckleball, you're not trying to throw it hard. This one, oh my. any spin that it has, you're trying to just give it a little bit of top to bottom spin. That's a, that's a 12, 13 year old kid throwing a knuckle curve after throwing 80 miles an hour. And so one of the things it does. It kind of shrinks the plate a little bit. We've seen if it gets right down the middle. If he's throwing this hard, I'm not quite sure if it matters all the time. And this time, it's just like a knuckleball. It you can see it. Yeah. Going the Messina knuckle curve that's right a knuckle here. Curve. Because that's exactly what it is. You Look know, it comes at the out drop on it. Wow. We talk so much about the South Korean pitchers. 30 strikeouts out of 33 innings. Panama has 27. You can add two to that. 29 now. It's a one, two, three first inning. Panama. Hits next. And now Louisiana has to face this left-handed pitcher, Gavin Weir of this South Dakota squad out of Sioux Falls. You factor in what he did in the district tournament, in the state tournament, and in the regional tournament, he's given up one hit through all of that X. Yeah, it's been so fun watching him do his thing. He's got an explosive fastball, but then also does a great job of locating the off-speed. Talking about a big breaking ball and does a nice job of staying in the strike zone. He knows how to put hitters away. Weir comes back with a fastball. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, that's a beauty. Whipping across the zone, and it's Weir's first strikeout. Yeah, left on left for Brown. This is going to be tough. You see him grip it. You see him snap it off. You see the movement. And Brown, that's tough because it's starting behind you as a hitter, and then that thing is just curving, slurving all the way back. He's got another strikeout. This kid's incredible. So consistent with it. At this age, a lot of times you don't see the consistency of throwing that nasty pitch for a strike every time. Look at that slider down in the zone. That's the 20th swing and miss today off of Gavin. That's ridiculous. And that's 21. For strikeout number 13, he has struck out 10 batters in a row, and he is one inning away from a no-hitter. Garcia, the ace, who started in the first game for Nicaragua on Wednesday against Curacao, and all he did was go five and two-thirds, 10 punchies in that game, give up just two runs. 0-2. Oh, Garcia strikes out Hansen and leaves two. Pro baseball pitching distance at 46 feet. Strike three call. Gas at 74 from Garcia in a 1 2 3 first for the Nicaragua ace here in Williamsburg. In which Mike had mentioned how often they've been here. Oh, there's that breaking ball again, Timmy, and it's a good one. One, two, three for Luis Garcia. And here's the pitcher they will face, a right-hander, Victor Juarez, of the team from uh, San Nicolas, Mexico. Favorite emoji. I like that touch. I'm going to ask you years in a while, Dave. Big right-hander, Victor, who's warming up, can really run it up there. 13 years old, five foot nine, 130 pounds. Yesterday from Panama? Right. This is like batting practice. <laughs> it's still 90-something miles an hour, but it's not 100 and whatever. And you watch their approach. So one out, Leonardo Bernal, the catcher, and there's our first look at, well, that one. I got one of these, too. <laughs> that one, at 71 miles an hour. That had a lot of movement to it. This is his first home run of this Little League World Series, and his next, the bat, he did go deep. Juarez got it going there with the quasi-quick pitch by virtue of his standards. Yeah, he'll kind of, he'll mix that one in nice, slow, and easy, and then sometimes the front foot will come up, leg will be really quick and on towards home plate. Where the players love to after they're done playing or before, come watch some games. Dance. 
In the stands, sitting with a tough task, though, today facing the ace of Team Canada. Yeah, how about those numbers? One hit allowed in 14 innings in the Canadian Regional for Loretto Siniscalci. We've already seen him at the plate. Throwing that hard, that big. Eight of the nine pitches so far have been strikes, all fastballs. And he just had a dominant first inning. She's nine strikes, all fastballs, and he strikes out the side to start it. Elevate the fastball for the first one. A little two-seamer out of way, and they just bury him right there. 78 miles an hour on that fastball. And that's, that's uh, the big league equivalent with our Little League dimensions of a 101-mile-an-hour fastball.